What is a meteorite? Is it a piece of cosmic rock that tumbles through space, suddenly finding itself pulled into Earth's gravity field and burning up in the atmosphere, creating a beautiful blaze in the sky? Well, yes, it's all that, except for one thing. A meteorite is not a rock, but rather a piece of asteroid comprised of iron and crystal. Yes, crystal. Gemstones harvested by, from meteorites are worth much more than diamonds as they are the fifth rarest crystal on Earth. So in reality, meteorites are gemstones falling to the Earth from space. Now imagine if you're the one who found a 1,400-pound meteorite. 1,400 pounds. Would that change your life? It did for Steve Arnold. Well, four hours into my first day of hunting, I found a 280-pound meteorite. And then I found a few more, and then two weeks later, I found this 1,430-pound monster. And that was the day my life changed. The moment he found this monstrous meteorite in the plains of Kansas, he became an overnight icon in the world of meteorites and changed his status from meteorite hobbyist to professional meteorite hunter. He was awarded his own TV series on the Science Channel called Meteorite Men. Steve has been fascinated and intrigued with meteorites for over 20 years. It began when he came across the story of a lady in the 1880s who found a meteorite in near Greensburg, Kansas when they were plowing their fields on their farm. One after another, she found what she believed to be meteorites. Farming for the first time behind the mules, they started running into these meteorites. And she thought they were meteorites, and everyone thought she was crazy. And she started ordering them up off of her ground, and her neighbors sometimes would find them, and she would haul them off. And it took her five years of, of writing scientists and um, researchers all over the country before one of them finally acknowledged, yes, you got meteorites, and then they decided to start buying them. Money. They were able to pay the mortgage off on the, on their farm. They were able to, in fact, go and buy some other farms nearby. Selling rocks to pay off your mortgage. Why are they worth so much? All the meteorites that that we have on Earth come from the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, or they come the pieces of Mars or pieces of the Moon that have been blasted off by comets or asteroids whacking into Mars or the Moon, creating craters, blowing pieces off that eventually make it to Earth. These cosmic packages are loaded with data. They contain information. Some of them have remained virtually unchanged since the beginning of the solar system. Some of them have gone through amazing amounts of changes. It's, it's a, a way of going back in time. It's a way of looking into the, our planet because we can only go so deep. Mm -hmm. While scientists have academic reasons for paying a hefty price, other cultures find meteorites valuable for other reasons. Long before the civilized world reached their Iron Age, tribes in Africa were using meteorites to hammer and forge stones to create tools and weapons. Which was a 110 pound anvil, and all across the bottom and all across the top, this thing has been hammered and hammered. And it came from a strewn field in, in Africa for thousands. Today, consumers from all walks of life can enjoy meteorites from a, for a variety of reasons. One of the most popular being jewelry. And it came out of this big rock right here. Wow. If you acquire a cosmic gemstone, the technical name being peristaltic peridot, you can take it to a jeweler and have them look at it and more than likely make their day because while they may have studied it and know what it is, they've never actually seen one in their hand. From a supply standpoint, these gemstones are inherently worth much more than regular gemstones, including diamonds. This gemstone is also known as the classic peridot, the August birthstone. If you walk the streets of Eureka Springs, the beautifully preserved Victorian town in Arkansas, you can stop in and visit Steve Arnold's meteorite store called Meteorites and More. There he sells meteorites, gemstones, and jewelry made of the space rocks. He also runs an online business where he sells meteorites on eBay and on Facebook. In here are, will be meteorites, except this is one of the things that's not. 
and um, it's an impact glass from a huge crater that that uh, melted the sand as it came in through molten glass into the air and then it cooled forming these chunks of glass that fell back down in the, in the sand um, in Egypt. And King Tut has in his breastplate a scarab carved out of Libyan desert glass. So it is bling of kings from 3,500 years ago. While meteorites are commonly found on dry desert-like condition. They don't discriminate and have hit cities, homes, killed animals, and hurt people. They can actually go into cities? Chicken Little was right. Yeah. The, the sky, sky is falling? The sky is falling. And and uh, they do fall, and they do hit things, and, and there is a, a sub-culture within the meteorite collecting community that, that really thrives and loves to collect hammer stones, uh, meteorites that, that hit something. And um, whether it's a car or, or a house or a person, um, Mrs. Hodges in Sylacauga, Alabama in 1954 was, I believe she was taking a nap when a, a meteorite went through the roof of her house and, and hit, hit a, 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 like a dresser beside her, which kind of slowed the rock down and then it hit her and um, she ended up um, in this really nice picture in Life Magazine, kind of a Slightly immodest for the day, of a picture of her big bruise on her hip, all in her glory on Life magazine.